One of the most enticing sights for an aviation geek is getting the chance to peek into the flight deck when boarding the aircraft. It doesn't take a lot to notice that the flight deck's door is wide open while the aircraft is being prepared for departure. But what is the exact reasoning behind the globally followed procedure? Let's take a look in today's video. One explanation offered is that the door is open to reassure passengers that the cockpit is staffed with at least two uniformed pilots. This may be particularly helpful for fearful and nervous passengers. However, the main explanation is much more practical. The cockpit doors need to be kept open due to the number of people that need to enter and exit the flight deck prior to departure. For instance, the first officer is required to leave to conduct an external walk-around pre-flight before returning. Along with this, keeping the door open allows the captain to monitor the boarding procedure. It doesn't stop there, as many ground staff members are also meant to keep in continuous contact with the pilot. These include technicians, fueling staff and even those responsible for cleaning and catering the aircraft. An airplane undergoes a number of key checks before a flight, so a technician needs to provide airworthy approval to the pilots before they are cleared to commence operations. Fueling staff provide the pilots with a fueling slip used to confirm if the right quantities are loaded in the right tanks. The cabin crew also coordinate with the pilots during the boarding process, handing them a list and count of passengers who are on board the flight. This information is provided along with any last-minute changes that may have occurred during the boarding process, such as missing passengers, cancelled transits or upgrades in the travelling class. Once the pilots are satisfied with the information they've received from various departments working on getting the plane ready for departure, they order for the door to be locked and subsequently begin communicating pushback and takeoff clearance with the air traffic controllers. Once ready, the cockpit doors are usually kept closed for the duration of the flight. Many air travellers of a certain age will remember the exciting experience of being allowed a visit to the flight deck as children. Back in the late 20th century, this was common practice, with little ones invited up and allowed to try on the captain's hat. However, since the events of 2001, the door to the flight deck is usually kept locked shut and passengers are no longer invited up. Once departed, the door is opened only for the pilots to be served their meals when they're changing shifts or heading to the bathroom. As deplaning takes place on arrival, the door is wide open again for the same reasons. While there are variations between one airline and another, this is largely the answer to why the door remains open and why passengers can get a peek past the waiting flight attendants and into the flight deck. Have you ever had the opportunity to visit the flight deck? Share your experiences by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.